else to do. I can't hear you. I don't know what else to do. I thought I thought that we had some sort of game plan. I, I told you I what I needed. You said well, we should make a list, but yet you don't. Well, seeing the counselors not to just. It's not going to do it. It's not alone enough. We've got to change how we do things. And I want to trust you. And I feel like all the trust is gone. All the fucking trust is gone in the relationship because you keep splitting. I'm not going to be in a physical fucking altercation don't. with you. Then don't. You fucking hit me last night. You fucking... What about all the other times you split? It, come on, you cannot act like that. It's about that. It's well, not. Well, on a plane, I can't split. No, and you hit back. So don't act like you don't fucking participate. I pushed you. I'm not going to get into the details of that fight. You and I both know that you split when there is no physical violence involved. And that you do it at, me, like at the very beginning of fights these days. And if you split and you go into a different room and you don't actually leave that house, it does nothing but perpetuate the fight. Really, when you split on me, how do you feel when I leave you? When I split, I've left when I go into the other room, you say. And getting me rooms. a room, I mean, getting another room at a hotel is just the same thing. When did I get another room at a hotel? You uh, text Stephen or, or Nathan in Toronto to get you another room. It's chronic. It happens all the time. And if you do it to go into another room, you do it and you get dressed. You were fucking screaming at me. I'm not going to validate my actions last night. I feel very bad. No, I'm talking in reacted. Toronto. I, I did not start screaming until you had fucking said all this shit. You poke an animal enough, it is it's eventually not, done, no matter how friendly it is or how cool it is. So I have not done this to you. I have not said these things to you. Yeah. I have not started the fight by saying then I'm going to get in another room. And I'm not going to sit here and fight about fucking Toronto anymore. Guess what? I let it go. I'm not fucking about, I'm not fucking talking about Toronto. Send I can me the tapes. It. I can whisper it. I can write it. Guess what? I'm not saying another fucking word about Toronto. I'm so sick and tired of fucking fighting about old fights. This is not about a fight. This is broad. This is a broad thing. And if I'm telling you every single time you get dressed and you fucking split the top of a fight, you never fucking try and work it out, you never fight for me, you never come to me, you never self-calm, you never self-soothe, you're never the one to throw the olive branch, I'm sick and tired of it, it needs to fucking change. And you can go, I can't meet those demands, I can't do it, or you can fucking promise me so I have a modicum of safety, I feel a modicum of respect, a little tiny shit sliver of fucking like, you are in this whether it is good or bad, whether it is good or bad, down and up, lows and highs, tough and easy. You got the tapes, let me hear them. Send me the fucking recordings. I will. Just, I will. just text them to me. Um, I don't know how else to say I will to you. I haven't because we have not been well. We have not been good. When I fucking move out, if I move out, then you fu I'll have a, you'll have them and you can fucking relish them. You won't fucking like it, what you hear. Won't make you happy. But you hear what I'm telling you. That was after Toronto. Yeah, that, that's when we came back here. I know where Toronto, we were. Toronto, Boston, here. I know where we were. We've been on the road basically since Australia, and I have been at your side. And I have not been filming in the movie. Well, we were on our honeymoon. I hope you were at my side. I'm not talking about just a honeymoon. Now, am I? I'm talking about many months. And was it all the honeymoon? No. I have been at your side throughout it all. You said, why did you come to Rio? And I answered you. I would love for it to be better. I have no fucking consistency, no safety, no security. The relationship is something, me, is something you don't fight for, you don't stand up for, you always run from when it's tough. I, I'm telling you, I need more. I need, we didn't say vows. You didn't make them exactly in the same, in that, in that way, you know, but 
But now is a fucking time. I need to know if you're going to be there. I want promises. I told you that at the beginning of this conversation. I need promises that you're going to fucking be there. I need promises that this is important to you. Not when it's easy. When it's hard, too. Yeah, this is something you'll fight for. That this is something that's sacred. That neither of us throw out every fight. I can't be the only one to hold the promises. I was in Toronto and it fucked me over. I can't be the only one. You can't be the only one. If I split on you, all those times that I thought about doing it, we would not be here. And I stayed, and it's tougher. You know, that's stronger. I'm stronger. It is easy to run. It is easy to run away from problems. It is easy to take that out and say, well, that's the easiest. That, I mean, that's the best, safest. That's the safest way out. I'm not saying we should get in physical altercations. I never want to be in that. Never. But every time you don't like what I say and you fucking run away, will never work out anything. You can't run away every fight. You can't. It's easy. It's, it, it's not brave. It's not strong. It's harder to say to somebody, I want to work this out. I want to face what I have. I want to face what you have. I want to work it out with you. You're not working it out. You're running away, and then you make me be the bigger person every single time and come to you and knock on the door and come to this house and say, hey, we're married, it's supposed to be sacred, calm I down, made calm you. down. I made you. Yes, by default, if you're never the one to do it, one of us is, and I'm the one to do it every time. It means I'm the bigger person every time. It means I have to be the strong one. It means every time I have to fight for our relationship, and you get to be not, you get to be lazy, you get and, to be cowardly, I don't know what, what it is. what are you here for? What do you need me Once for? Once again, I am fighting for the relationship. I With want... a guy that you don't fucking trust or like? Why? I did not say I didn't like you. I love you. You're my favorite person in the world. I don't see how. I remember be. what I said at the beginning. I'm sorry you feel like you can't imagine it, but I said this to you at the beginning of this conversation. I said you're the, my favorite person in the whole world. If you weren't the most magnetic, shiny, beautiful, interesting, dynamic person I had ever met in my life, it would be so easy to walk away from this bratty thing that you Untrustworthy, do. Untrustworthy. Uh, um, uh, Did you hear what I just said? Yeah. I said I can't trust. I can't trust. That's not meaning you're untrustworthy. It means we've created a situation. And I'm telling you what you do to create it too. We've created a situation in which there, it, there cannot, trust can't grow. It's like it's trampled every single time and we need a marriage. That's why I sat down. Do you not remember me sitting down at the very beginning of this conversation and saying just that to you? Say, I know you got married for security and for safety. So did I. We did not get married because it was something that we're doing you know for because it was something we could walk away we wanted the state the foundation no i want yes i wanted to make you my wife I yes love. yes but you could just have me as your girlfriend if you didn't want the foundation and you told me and maybe you go back on it now fine okay cool lie about that i don't know you told me you wanted a foundation you told me you wanted the security you wanted the safety you liked the foundation at the beginning you said i really like having that it of feels course. safe so of don't argue course. with me when i say it now i'm not arguing with you Oh, yeah, but you had to pick it apart. By saying because I loved you and you're my wife? I wanted you to be my wife? That's picking it apart? No. Then how did I pick it apart? No, I, I don't want to do this. I don't want to fight about a fight. I want to fight about the semantics. I want to how come when I come up with a point, you can't answer it? You don't want, or suddenly you don't want to answer it? What am I not answering? Because I don't want to fight about this new thing? No, I don't want to. I said you wanted the safety and security, and you stopped me, you interrupted me, and then you said, what, because I, we, 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 no, because I wanted to have you I as my I didn't interrupt you, you asked me, right? You said, right? I meant you interjected, I meant you said, you said, how about that, see, now, is this better? I answered you, I addressed what you're saying, now can we please not fight about that? And I said, because I love you. You said loved. We're talking about a fucking event this past sense. If I used loved, I, I, my apologies, it doesn't mean I don't love you now. My whole point that you had, a, I don't know, an issue with is that you love me. Yes, you married me, though, because you wanted sa some safety, some security, some stability, a foundation. Of course I want that with you. It's why I married you. But I need the safety, I need the security, I need the boundaries, and I think you... 
could you not agree? I need this. I need the same things. So I. But when you start flipping out, and I can't get a word in, and it's and it's you know manic and angry. Okay. Well, what the fuck, Amber? I get angry. I get. I'm human. Just try. Let's both try. If there's anger, if there's something fucking really, really fucking poking us in the ass, let's try. Mm. Try not to fucking fight. Try to address it without jumping down each other's throats because all that's going to do is build a mountain of fucking uh, resentment uh, uh, some species of fucking hatred within the love and and uh, uh, so totally fucking mistrust because you say you don't trust me, you don't trust me. I get it, okay. I'm flake, I'm a this, I'm a that. I didn't All say right. as a person. I, I was speaking specifically about this. I don't trust the marriage. I don't trust you. I don't feel safe with it because you always fucking bail on it. Well, then I, I don't know you know I, I want the trust back I don't you can deflect all you want say it's my fault and say how dare I get angry at you ever whatever I'm telling you I'm telling you I don't and know I how don't, and I don't know you. I don't know what and sometimes I don't I don't want to fucking be there and go through the shit I don't man I don't I know and I don't want to because I don't want to fucking fight but it doesn't have to be one it's not like I'm saying, hey, choose fight. You just said I get mad, I'm gonna scream. No, I didn't say oh, that's always the case. I said, yeah, I'm mad. It happens. It happens. Yes, I know. It happens often. <laughs> if you think I'm some suck at fucking tyrant or bully, then don't fucking be with me. But don't sit here and insult me like I have a f I'm the fuck up because I have the but you're audacity the one to get saying that I'm the tyrant and the bully and the and at the same time the the, the, the guy that the runs bully, away yeah. and you the are you run away every single fight. Okay, so I mean, well, then what are you? Then I'm not doing lying about it. Then what are you doing with me? I already answered that. I already spent. We went through this conversation literally five minutes ago. I uh, answered this already five minutes you ago. You just said to me that I shouldn't be with you. No, I said if That's you. What I feel. No, I said if I'm some, you know, harping bully, which is what you make me sound like. Like I'm like constantly on you, making you feel bad. That's because that's what I do. And then you ignore everything. You take me for granted. You're ignoring everything that I do for you. You make me sound terrible. You talk about me in a terrible way. You uh, you do not fight for me. And then you want to sit here and make me sound so what do terrible you mean I to don't be around. Fight for you you don't. I, everything I've already explained. No. Ten fight, minutes. Before. No fight for you. I don't understand. Does you never mean? ever do the work. Put in the work. If we're arguing about something, you don't ever try to get to the bottom of it. Figure out. Make the peace. You want to make it easy on you so you split. You don't fight for me. You don't fight when there's a problem. You don't come to me. You don't uh, uh, make peace with me. You never extend an olive branch. You're never the bigger guy. You're never the one that's like, okay, I'm going to put my own feelings aside for a second and say, this is bigger than us. Let's stop fighting. You never are the one to come and knock on my door. You take me for granted. It's not true. Not true. I'm not the one who fucking throws fucking pots and Those are diff whatever that's the different. fucking else at me. That's different. That's what one does not <laughs> negate the other. That's irrelevant. It's a complete non sequitur. Just because I've thrown pots and pans does not mean that you vases come and knock on the door. Just because there are vases does not mean that you come and knock on the door. Really? I should just let you throw... I'm not saying that. You're saying that. You're putting words in my mouth and then making no, non sequiturs. I'm giving you a situation. No, you're trying to justify how you don't or do come to the door no, based I'm on whether I throw pots of hands. It's irrelevant. No, I'm justifying how you, you, you seem to think that there's this cowardice in me that runs away and I don't fight for you. And you're justifying that by saying I throw pots and pans? Okay, cool. Let's no, talk about everything you do wrong. I'm not the one who fucking did that. I don't fucking... I didn't... So that makes, so that makes sense. So that I... 
That's no. clear. Yeah. Do I do I, the only time I ever threw anything at you was when you fucking are you, threw the cans at me in Australia. Why are you trying to justify who throws things based because on whether that, or not you come knocking on the door? And because don't that is a I fucking irrational and violent fucking maneuver. How so a man would want to other? get out of that area so that he doesn't get so fucking angry that he actually does pop the fucking wife. How does one inform the other? Oh, man. Go home and listen to the tape. Please. That's what they're for. Yes. You listen to the fucking tape. Oh, I'm gonna. So will I. I'm not gonna sit here and promise you I'll never get mad at you or that you'll never fuck up. I know you want to live in a land, in a world where everyone just says yes to you and doesn't question you or criticize you ever. Don't ever. insult me like that, please. But that's not the case. It's not why you're with me. I am honest with you. I'm sorry. You don't want to be held accountable. I get it. I'm Anyone not sure really you're does. so honest with me. Well, that's your... Watching you live in front of Travis yeah, last night was really a That's spectacle. your problem, and that's your whole thing that you've created. So I'm not going to sit here and go over every fight we've had. I'm not going to refight this fight. You have something you're holding on to about Travis. Fucking go. Fucking go fuck. You know? Go do it. Go run away together. I don't know what you're fucking holding on to, but you have created that. I have no part of that. I don't know what you're fucking latched onto in your brain, what stray hairs have fucking commingled and tangled in your brain to make you think you've really figured some sort of thing out, but this is not unusual for you. It's like almost every fight I can pretty much guarantee you find something that you can like ma let's, manipulate Let's ask Travis tonight. If you yes, told why don't we him invite Travis into our, uh, uh, into our fucked up, broken ass, three fucking wheeled truck of a marriage why don't we crash it straight into the wall because no one knows us better than fucking Travis. You're just afraid that the truth will come out. What truth? That you lied. What are you fucking talking about? I didn't fucking even have a, a fucking thing to lie about. What are you fucking talking about? Every fucking fight, there's a new thing that you've convinced yourself no, is a lie. I said to you, You're... Amber, tell Travis what you just did. Did you just fucking, <laughs> did you punch me in the fucking jaw? Did you fucking kick <laughs> Did you? Uh -huh. Did you? And you wouldn't say a fucking reason. I don't know what oh, you're talking so about. Lie. Never fucking. I see the Never lie. fucking happened. I see the lie. You really should run with this. In fact, maybe you and Travis can like go and like, you know, do a tell all about what a. Hey, what, you stop. know, an investigative stop study. Stop with the attitude, right? Sorry. Stop with the attitude. Sorry. You're getting all bunched up. Sorry. Sorry. I don't. It's so fucking pointless, and you know it, to sit here and fight about fucking. Whatever you think happened with Trout, it wasn't no. a conversation. Listen, we I was not lying. I'm not going you to. You lied. You're asshole. You're fucking full of shit. What lied lie? Your asshole. When? Hmm? What conversation did I have with Travis? I um, big, big investigative study you've done. I'm not sitting here no, and fighting with you about the, the fight that we had last night. After you fucking got physically violent with me, I texted Travis. I said, "Come up here," because I, I didn't want anything to, to happen. I mean, yeah. Mm -hmm. come, it's coming to what? Save me? No, go ahead. Continue. You, you, you. Travis, do the rescue. No, that, no, that was the last one. You can go. Uh, you go. That was the last insult. Oh, yeah. You you do, you called me a liar, and yet you yet. I watched you lie. You called me a liar. I watched you lie. I You're heard it. I was right there. There's no what. You still haven't told me what lie it is. We'll talk but yet, to, every single fucking time. We'll you know you Travis. do this every single fucking we'll talk time. To Travis. I'm not fucking talking to nobody. No, fuck that. You fucking... go fucking jerk. Go jerk him off. I don't care. I really could care less. It's you every single time. You latch onto some sort of thing. When I already told you, I don't know what you're fucking talking about. You don't even know what you're talking about. You still haven't even told me what it is. But run with it. You I have told you it. what it is. No, you haven't. I said to Travis, I said, Good. no, I said to you, hey, care. tell Travis right. what just happened. You oh, you careless. told me to do it. You yeah. told me to. You said, go do that. I said, no, t tell him what just happened. And I lied. And that you punched me in the You're fucking right. thing. and You, you figured in it the face, And you said, no, fuck it. No, I didn't. What the fuck are you talking about? And I, I watched you, you lie. And then I, I didn't punch you, and then by the way. You, I'm sorry that I didn't uh, you, uh, uh, punch hit you. Me across the face in a proper slap, but I was hitting you. It was not punching you. Babe, you're not punched. Don't tell me what it feels like to be punched. You, you know, you, even a lot of fights have been around a long time. I know.
Yeah. No, when you fucking have a closed you fist. You get punched. You got hit. I'm sorry I hit you like this. But I did not punch you. I did not fucking deck you. I fucking was hitting you. You can't I don't know what me. the po motion of my actual hand was. But you're fine. I did not hurt you. I did not punch you. I was hitting you. How are your toes? How, what am I supposed to do? Do this? How are your I, toes? I'm not sitting here bitching about it, am I? You are. Oh, That's you, the difference you between me toes. and you. You're a fucking baby. Because you start you physical are fights. Such a baby. Because you, the fuck up, because you start physical fights. I did start a physical fight. Yeah, you did. So I had because, to get the fuck out of there. Yes, you did. So you did the right thing, the big thing. The, you know what? You are admirable. Every single time. What? What? what what's your excuse when there's not a physical fight? Then what's the excuse there? You're still being admirable, right? Just by running away. And you can sit here and, and call me names, but you get called a name, and what do you do? That's the last insult. You're a baby. You're a hypocrite. You don't do anything that you actually do. You expect from people what you can't give them. What are you doing with this? I'm giving you a Xanax in case you need it. Oh, thank you. It seems like it's worn off. Yeah, it probably has. I haven't even been able to have, like, a fight with you beyond in any real talking kind of speaking context in so long because anytime anything goes wrong you split it's like it's your first thing and it's unnecessary it's not always uh you're splitting because there's blows or because there's yelling or anything you split many most times when i'm still speaking in this volume and nothing has been thrown or hit or anything you no know, i can change certain things that are hurting you but I know I can't blame myself entirely for going straight to the fucking finish line the first sign of stress yesterday because of how it's been lately like since Australia and I've been on the road with you I haven't been working I don't know what else I could fucking do since Australia we've been on our honeymoon and we had a great time other than the fact that we had a fight in the train which was physical. Yeah. But and then we had a fight in San Francisco. But I thought everything else was great. You're saying we, we've been pondering this since Australia. No, uh, the splitting. The, Me splitting. Like the lack of, you know, I even said this was in Australia. So I feel like. It was so good for so long. We'd talk about things. We were, remember we were allowed to have fights then. Remember we allowed ourselves to say, "Hey, you did this or you took." Remember we would even have a little argument and it was okay. It was an argument. I don't know what the fuck has changed. I can't figure it out. And I don't mean to criticize uh, uh, anything that you do, but it's so chronic with you that the the. the the changes in the personality, it's like sometimes you get these clear, clear months and you're this different person and it's wonderful, you're this, you're this, and then sometimes I'm like struggling to stay connected with you, struggling to have five minutes with you, you, you know, uh, struggling to connect with you, struggling to have my friendship with you and I can't fight with you, you know, it's like, but they're so chronic that I have to go, what the fuck has changed? What thing has changed? Do you not remember how different? You were so different. You were so, you allowed me to. I allowed you to what? And you were so present and we were allowed to fight. We were, not even fight, we had arguments. I mean, you've given me this time here on the couch and it's amazing that we can actually talk. But I never feel that safe. I constantly feel like you're about to fucking split. And I don't want to feel like that. You made me feel meaningless. You threw me out of the bed room. Yeah, something. why wouldn't I if I know that, that you're about to split? I mean, that's what I'm saying. You I wasn't always about split. To split. You always split. So that's... Why wouldn't... I mean, I do blame myself for my actions. I was just laying in bed watching television, think... man. I... I was laying in bed watching television. I fucked up last night, I'm not going to defend myself, but I also can't blame like, me going to the finish line and that's always where you drive it.
No. You're, but you're saying you thought I was, you, you were sure I was going to split. But Always. I mean, that's just... That's why would I split if I'm you, laying in the bed with you any watching fight, television? Anytime I tell you that I'm unhappy with anything, and it's typically the same thing, anytime my voice of complaint, I'm not allowed to have a complaint. I'm not allowed to think anything wrong. I've told you this a thousand times. A thousand times I've said this to you. In calm and in fights, baby, I don't feel like I'm allowed to just have a complaint and you aren't allowing me the luxury of us just being normal human couples like as soon as you get mad you take off on a train it's something because it's not it's a chemical it's, it's strong no. it's one day you were different it's the same and it hasn't been bad it's the same changes that are happening in you it's exactly the same huh I really wish that, was the that is the case i have always allowed you to Fuck up and be a human. I've always been able to have a communication with you. You, the difference is you make it so we cannot even communicate at all if it's anything negative. You go, you take off on a train, you don't get off. You don't come back around. You don't honor when you say I just want a few minutes or I want a little time, but I'll be back. You don't assuage the um, the anxiety and the stress that that gives me and makes things worse with me by saying, hey, I will, we will, remember Keeper was like, you have to say, I will be back in this amount of time, more or less, and then actually honor it, you have to come back, so I said, oh my god, if he could do that, that would be great, and you never do it, you know, you don't ever honor that, you leave me with way more anxiety, stress, anger, and resentment, but in Australia, for a few months, you were so, so were you, it makes a difference. I wasn't being attacked. I'm not. I, I'm not. I, I have not attacked you any different. I haven't changed. I have not attacked you any different. I never attacked you. I never attacked you. Just because I have a complaint with something you did is not an attack. It becomes baby. verbally insulting. It becomes that all kinds of shit. Nice. It becomes like, like right, right, right at the get go. Yeah. See, that's the problem. If you see any criticism as a verbal assault, of of course we have this problem. We're gonna have it next time you do. God forbid I have a problem with something you do. We're gonna be in this situation. Say it Are nice. you ready for it? Say it nice, man. What if I'm hurt? Am I not allowed to be hurt and be human? That's the thing. You're not allowing me to be human then. You take my humanity you're from talking me. About you're telling me I'm not allowed to feel you're things talking and I'm not allowed to react because it to protect you. Last night happened because I was at Isaac's for too long. Next door. And for what? For what? What did, what did we gain from this fight? From from me just, you know, the horrible fucking act of me being over at Isaac's for just too long for you. I did not cause this because you were at Isaac's. That's, I mean, you lie to yourself. Go ahead. You're just lying Then to why were you upset last night? This did not happen because of Isaac's. This happened because we're fighting. This is not about Isaacs. We actually haven't really even talked about that. We spent two seconds on it because it's, you know, it's not about that. You know, it's bigger than that. The point is I voiced a complaint. It could be anything. You could say, baby, you did something to hurt me, which you did. And you admitted. Why didn't you say that? You admitted that you would feel that way too. And yes. you said, sorry for it. That would have been great but i could not feel safe saying that to you because i knew that your reaction would very likely be a defensive explosion and an attack and freak out and get up and walk away and all this stuff so i wanted to avoid it so i took an ambient to try and go to sleep without even having to speak to you about it because i was really hurt that you fucking left me stranded and you didn't think about me you didn't text me all the things that you apologized for yeah. You already apologized for it. Can you do me one small favor and not take it back? I ain't taking it back. Thank you. Stop defending it, please. You already apologized for it. It meant a lot to me. Do me one favor today. Don't take that back. This isn't about Isaac. You know it. Hmm? This isn't about Isaac. You know it. It is about us not allowing... Is it about me showering? No, it's, a, it's about you not allowing me to have any problems with you or be upset at you or mad at you or even hurt for you at all. You do not allow it. If you, if you could have just said in a, in a kinder way, a nicer way, like, listen, 
I feel fucked over at what you fucking just did. You wouldn't freak out? No, I would say fucking, what is it? Like what? And fucking too long at Isaac's. You said you wouldn't be that long or whatever. You shouldn't. I feel stranded. I felt fucking left. Whatever. I'm not, what am I going to fight with that? Why, why would I get mad at that? Oh my God, the first thing you do is I don't have to do, I don't have to text you. and all, I mean, you would just be, be, it would be shitty. It would be a fight. It would be terrible. It would you, not be. You, it was a fight. Yeah, it was. It was a fight. And then, it shouldn't have been. And, and, and. So, the, the, the Isaac thing was the impetus because you were the, that was yeah. a lot of what you said today, was it? You see, but it's just a small example of a bigger thing. You know it's okay, so it's a bigger thing. It's coming from back in Australia. No, it's like Australia we were allowed to fight. I can't, you can't sit here and tell me. I can't feel things. I can't voice them to you. If we say to each other, you can't get mad, and you can't be hurt by the other, then we're living in a fucking motherfucking fairy tale. Look. Then, of course, nobody, nobody is able to and shouldn't hold shit in. But we can go to the other person and say, look, man, I feel fucked. I feel shit. I feel this. I feel that. And then we can assess you how you feel. Well, fuck, I guess, oh, shit, I see what you mean. You know, I see what you mean, I get it. Or, fucking, I don't get, I don't, I don't understand what you're saying, and you're wrong, and you're the, whatever. But it's going to be the latter, and it's been the latter for months now, where that's your reaction, is not ever, ever admitting wrong, ever doing anything wrong, that's, ever that's admitting true. it. You always go straight to, you're wrong, fuck you kind of thing. You don't say fuck you all the time right away, but I'm You're saying... always. Huh? Like, for months now, it's been, I can't voice any complaint. I can't say I feel fucked over. I can't say I'm hurt. I can't say you fucked up. I can't be mad at you. I can't be hurt. Nothing. Because I'm the bad guy. Oh, well, I'm always fucking up. And, you know, like, you're always on, always on me. And I'm always fucking up. And, you know, like, getting mad at me for having... For being honest with you, we've had a million fights where I'm like, I was honest with you. I told you how I felt. Maybe you, if you were me, wouldn't you feel bad? Yeah. Okay. Well, then, the fuck. We had these few months where we actually could even feel things and fight, and it was an argument. Even if I'm hurt, I'm still trying to do that because I see the bigger picture. You lose the bigger picture every time. And if you want to stay married to me, you need to figure out if you ever. I mean, if you think you can. If you're going to lose sight of the bigger picture and only be my husband when it's easy, you're only going to be there for the ups, never the downs. You're only going to be there for health, not sickness. Every time it gets hard, you lose the big picture and you can't think about anything else but breaking up, divorce, fighting, splitting, running away. If you can't be the one to come around sometimes and see the bigger picture and know that it's not worth fighting for days, if you can't do that too, we, walk, we need to walk away. I don't want to walk away. I don't want it in this. But do you not think you instigate the same thing? I'm not talking about instigating. I'm talking about ending. But ending, you don't... I'm talking about ending. Yeah, but you don't always do that. You're never the one coming to me and saying, let's not fight anymore. You're never the one saying, come, just get into bed. Let's not go to bed mad like that. On the plane, it was me. In Toronto, it was me. It's always me. On the plane here from, uh, from Rio... You, don't admit it. you were Think losing your marbles. I'm the one who came to you and said, "Let's calm down, please calm down." And you were blaming me Think about it. <coughs> because your flight was going to get in late and you wouldn't be able to Think about it. have time before your thing. You ditched me last night, and I understand. I understand how shitty that girl. I understand my part in it. I know I need to know what we need to do different. I need to know. It's got to be done with your mind and your heart. What do we do different if well, I have a problem? You tell need me. to tell me how to tell you tell different me. if I'm hurting you. 
You need to let me be able to be mad. Sometimes you're going to make me mad. I'm a human. I cannot live where it's like... Well, then it's the same thing goes for me then. You're going to have to allow me to get mad. Yes, exactly. It, okay, I but I get mad and then mad. you start fucking yelling. I, 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 I don't have to start yelling. I think I start yelling once it gets fucking heightened. I've gotten a lot better about that. It's just only... No, I only start no. yelling when it's fucking hour 11 and we're really in it. Yeah, yeah. You haven't gotten better about that. Otherwise, we wouldn't have had three physical fights in the last month and a half, two I'm months. I'm talking about the yelling. Let's both pay attention to how we, how we talk to each other. Um, to respect each other. I, you know, we're not going to do that all the time. Sometimes we're going to be shitty or whatever. Of course not. But we make a promise to each other about the rings and the divorce. No rings, no divorce. We promise each other. Um, Please, I, I want so bad to feel like the marriage I... I promise you. ...worked so hard to make happen. It's like meaningful. Don't, don't talk about the, making the wedding happen. Talk about the four years we spent together, please. Yes, but I want to make... I have those four years no matter what, but I fought for that wedding. and We had that wedding. Beautiful what for what if we don't I wanna have like it means something that there's some Yeah. It did mean something and it does mean something. And I didn't get married to you to fucking just fucking, you know seventeen more fights and it's fucking over with. We got married, I knew the fucking fights weren't gonna stop, but I thought maybe it would it would curb them a little. I want the security back. I freak out. I freak out and cannot make normal decisions, calm decisions, or ones from the heart where I'm thinking of you more than me when I feel like you're splitting on me all the time. And the marriage is on a rock. I make the same mistake about throwing our marriage around. I won't do it again. I'm not going to do it again. Okay? Please. I'm not. I promise. But. But there's so. There's some something so. Anxiety provoking and scary and malicious and really just turns everything over and you split all the time. Please, if you really don't want to fight and you're not just trying to hurt me, which sometimes it is that, if you really, really, if you really love me and you don't, and you do care about this, please find a good way to do it while I'm dance. respectful. You can tell me that you are, you can, I need to know that we will be able to talk about it because the problem I have is when we don't communicate, it comes into me, builds up in me and becomes can cancer in me. It got worse every day when we were back from Toronto, it got worse every single day. Not better, worse. Until we spoke about it, until Whitney's birthday and we talked about it, then it was okay, but I need, that's, I don't want to resent you. I don't want to resent you. I don't want to. I don't want to not trust. Are you kidding? You know how many times? You know how many times I've chased you out of the elevator in the hall? I gotta stop doing that. I'm not nitpicking. I don't mean to be focusing on something, but if it's a major thing to me, and it is a major. If things get thing, physical. We have to separate. No, we no. have to be apart from one another. Whether it's for fucking an hour or ten hours or fucking a day. We must. There can be no physical violence. I can't promise you that I'll be perfect. I can't promise you I won't get physical again. God, I fucking sometimes get so mad I lose it. I can fucking promise you I'm, you know do everything to change. 
time ago. You didn't even come home last night. I feel like I have nothing to cling on to. There's a semblance of marriage or commitment or stability. I mean, if I can just get up and walk away and spend the night somewhere else. You yeah, obviously can. Yeah, but believe it, believe it's done if I do that. That's that's. It's not marriage. You you talked about it. You know why I left. I do know why you left. You. I'm saying now that I won't do the same thing. I mean, I, I mean that, I, that I will not do that. I will not fucking leave until Probably. until some rational decision is made. Okay. If it's the end, it's the end. If it's the fucking, if we can keep going, we'll keep going. But yeah, um, I promise. I promise you. I promise you. I hope you can trust me. I don't want any loopholes, any, oh, it's okay to leave, it's acceptable to do this, or it's acceptable to say this, about, like, splitting, or breaking up, or leaving, right? That's our, we should, we should, we should fall asleep together every night. Ideally, never mad. Ideally, never mad. I'd love to say, of course, you could promise that, but I don't. I don't know if it's possible. I'd love to strive for it. Y yeah, you weren't ready for that last night, for sure. No, I fucked up last night. I'm really sorry. It's affecting not just me, it's affecting our marriage. It's affecting how I trust, how I resent you, how I like you without the it, fight being happening. No, I know. But when I'm not trying to rub your nose in it. I'm just, I feel sometimes like you omit something, you acknowledge it, it'll be beautiful, and then you'll go back on it kind of in your, like, in the vocabulary after, and then I feel like, Wait a second, is he taking it back? You know what I mean? I do know what you mean, but like I said before, man, there's, there's not, I, I don't, I don't have the, I haven't cornered the market on that, you know, when you start the fucking yelling, there's, you know, it, 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 it fucking gets crazy. You know, it gets fucking, it gets fucking crazy, you know, and th that, that makes me not feel, uh, for lack of a better word, safe within the relationship, mm -hmm. you know, uh, understanding of, oh, well, it's just nothing, because it, if it keeps going, if it's, if it's always sort of there, then, uh, you know, I worry, yeah, I fucking worry about the marriage. I worry how much longer can I deal with this? How much longer can she deal with this? Fuck, man. Mm -hmm. So I've had the same trust issues. I've had the same uh, uh, disappointments. I've had the same, you know, maybe maybe not to the degree you have, I, 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 I'm assuming. So, but... Yeah, I, I, man, when you start, when you start fucking honking, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's call pretty, me. call it's pretty, out, call pretty, me out on it and help me. I will, I will help try. Me, be like, you might not even realize I'm doing it, but you've got to help me. I but will we try. Can't, it can't be an excuse to leave. I will try to help you. If I try to help you and I can help you, fuck what I leave. If I try to help you and I can't help you, Say, baby, I'm taking an hour. I'm in my fucking office. It's, yes. Yes. If you want to talk, if you want to come get me. Otherwise, I'll come check on you in an hour. That, that would be really helpful. All right? And I promise you I'll leave you alone for that hour. I promise you I'm not going to freak out. I just, want, I just want you to have your time to... Be able to calm down, or my time to be able to calm down. It really helps if you, if you give it time. It's not just say even now. if you just say it will, you know. In like, I promise it will resume this. I just need to know that we will talk about it. Otherwise, I'm dealing with cancer. I'm dealing with something that just festers and it gets worse and worse. So you have to realize that it, 
you know, in that kind of situation, a few minutes is fine, but then after a certain point, it becomes way worse, and I become way harder to reason, to rationalize with, I become, it, that Kipper can tell you, he says he's the same way, I just, that's how I work, and we work a very different way, in the middle, you know. I, 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 yeah. I, I do understand that. I mean, I, I do, I, would, I do understand all that. But I, I also want you to understand that, the, you know, there were great moments of high hopes that it was just all cool. And then, you know, whatever happens, this happens, that happens, we fucking, we have a spat, or a fight, or a fucking blowout. I, I just want you to know that the way you're feeling about being unsure of, of us, of the marriage, of this, of the, if you, whether, I can, whether you can trust me to be this, or whether you can, you know, whether I can do the same, it's I feel very much the same. At least you have the added luxury that you take for granted. No offense, you do. Who I take for granted? That you have the added luxury of knowing that I'm there and that I mean it forever, and that I because I show up, I come, I'm knocking, I'm the one who asks look, to calm down, I'm the one that comes to get you on the plane, I'm the one that comes and knocks at the bathroom door, I'm the one that comes into the to the house that you've run away to. I'm the one that comes to you and says, this isn't worth it, let's fight for this marriage, or whatever. I, you have an added luxury that you just are taking for granted in such a big way. And you don't know how much that means. I go, I go, because I think, fuck, well, we're screwed. I can't live like this. Let's stop you from doing that again, thinking that again. Well, like I said, like you said, we walk out the door, we walk out the door. That is the same as rings off. It's the same thing as mentioning divorce. There's no talking unless we just want to try to be civil with one another. As fucking people who were married. And I hate to talk like I hate even saying that kind of shit, but... Yeah, if I walk out again, I'm walking out. And I'll know that, and you'll know that. If you do that, same deal. I promise it won't explode if we just do the things a little different in the fight. You know, like, don't walk away from me. Do it in a different way, and I promise I won't resort to the same shit. I promise. Okay. Thank you. What you got? I was just pausing it. I realized I was about to run out of battery and still rolling. This thing. Oh, okay.